How's it going there, dispensary owners? Hope you're doing well. Off to a great start of your day or night, whatever you are, wherever you are. My name is Samuel Fisher from Green Dispensary Marketing, and today I want to talk to you guys about what's been going on with Weed Maps recently. And so before we jump into that, I kind of want to show you some of the results uh, that my marketing agency has provided uh, recently. Uh, this is one article that we published that generated $85,000 in two months. That made the client very happy. I'm not saying that this is the kind of results that we will deliver in two months for you. What I am saying is that we know how to move the needle, uh, get people in the door, uh, start buying more weed from your dispensary. Um, here's another example of a one day uptick in revenue that we generated for our clients. I uh, made them very happy getting an extra 3,600 bucks uh, when they weren't initially planning on anything, right? So here, here's some of my social briefs, uh, my ranked articles. Um, if you were to search best THC gummies, best marijuana seed, best THC cartridges, uh, you'll likely find some of my ranked articles. These screenshots were taken at the time, about a month ago now. And so you can see we have some nice positions here for these high competitive terms. Um, and so let's jump right into this. Uh, what, what is going on with Meat Maps? And so I think one of the big things to kind of keep in mind recently is that they recently increased their prices by 340 percent and so you know i think they're starting to get a little um used to being the number one uh, listing service in the cannabis industry i think what's going on with their stock actually has a huge implication on why they are increasing their prices and so they actually had peaked out at about 2021 uh, this time in 2021 so we're looking at three years ago for three years, they've been declining in their stock price. So they've just been in this giant bear market that they just cannot get out. So when companies start to gradually lose money like this, uh, one of the strategies that they might implement are price increases. That way they can get some revenue, uh, get people paying uh, for their services. And so the big problem with this is that it leaves dispensary owners like yourself with lower and lower and lower ROIs higher and higher and higher investment costs for using the platform and so really the big problem is in 2023 2022 2021 uh, many old dispensary or the old dispensary model really depended on weed maps for exposure and sales and so the big problem with this is that it's a never-ending ball of money that you need to keep forking over and once you stop giving them the money that they stop giving you the sales and so the big problem in my mind, why we should get all the weed maps in 2024 is most of the people that are going to weed maps are just simply looking for the cheapest weed in the area, not necessarily the highest quality and really the best deals in that sense. They just want to fork over the least amount of money possible. And so as a dispensary in 2024, trying to get the best possible clients, this is one of the things that you absolutely need to avoid is attracting these cheap customers. Instead, we want to be going after the customer's willing to fork over a little bit more money in order to get the best quality weed like you offer at your dispensary, right? And so in, in 2024, we have a new model that we're trying to implement where we do not give a dime to Weed Maps or Leafly or any of these other uh, pay to play listing sites. It's really, really the only thing that these sites are good for in my mind or to give you an initial uh, uptick in revenue. And then just the backlink. And instead, what we should be doing is focusing on our dream customers, the ones that you love, that you keep coming back in, that give you good reviews, that don't hassle your staff, anger your staff. Um, this way, we can start to stabilize your income, make it a little bit more dependable, and then maximize your online presence using your own machine and not the one on Weed Maps and Leafly. And so we have some steps to implement this new system. And so let's go ahead and break right down into this. Um, our number one, our first step, for getting off this weed maps price increase that is driving the industry insane um, is to implement service pages on your website. So if you don't have a cannabis dispensary website, go to greendispensarymarketing.com. Love to help you out. Love to give you a best in class website so you can start ranking organically for terms like dispensary in city. And so with your website, one of the important things to do on these service pages is to make sure that you put your location address and important info at the top. Um, and that you also have a short crawl depth. What that essentially means is that you can click on the link to the service page from the home page or one of the other follow up pages, maybe your About Us page, your Specials page, your Promotions page. You want to make sure that it is close to the home page that you can get there between one or two clicks, ideally. 
Next up, we want to optimize on page. And so what this essentially means is we want to make sure that anybody who visits your website will quickly figure out where your dispensary is and come visit you in person. And so a quick, easy way to do that is to put your dispensary location on a map, the top of your pages. Um, and then also make sure that you have your phone number on the top right of your pages. And then finally, make sure your email address is also on each page. So when you're using headers and footers correctly, very simple to do, very easy to do. However, one thing to keep in mind, uh, I will mention this again when we go over listings and link building, is we want to keep make we want to make sure that your business name, address, and phone number remain consistent on each of these pages. If we do these small things, uh, we'll be one step closer to optimizing on page. Uh, that way, people come into your store and don't just simply visit your website, right? Next up, a good easy way to get some consistent traffic is to have a promo page on your website. So. Um, one of the things we were kind of mentioning above, uh, one of the reasons that many people love weed maps is because it attracts people looking for good deals and simply the cheap cheapest weed. However, you can also have consistent promotions on your page. And so once you start to get ranked on the Google machine, you have tons of people organically coming to your site. Um, once they find your service page, they'll quickly be able to find a promo page. And on this promo page is where you can really start to filter in some of your best deals. And you can also rank it for many keywords in your area, uh, promos, weed specials, Denver, whatever your city is. Next up, a big strategy that you could implement to get off of weed maps and start to organically increase your own online visibility is something we call link building. And so there's two major ways to do this in the cannabis niche. Uh, they would be business listings and backlinks. And so essentially what a business listing is, it's a platform which keeps tabs on different dispensaries in your area. So you simply upload uh, your profile, put a link to your website, and then from there, you have a backlink. And so as you start to increase your listings, uh, you'll eventually find that there aren't too many listing sites that you can continue to post on. And so that's when traditional backlinking comes into play. As long as you're doing this in a white hat manner, like we do here at Green Dispensary Marketing, you'll be able to ensure that your organic search results will start to go up. And so as you are backlinking, you will be able to go into Ahrefs like this screenshot right here has, and you'll start to see them coming up. Um, you'll start to see these backlinks coming up, and specifically these best links. Um, and when you start to get plenty of those, you'll notice that your organic rankings also go up. And so one thing to keep in mind uh, as you are doing these listings, make sure that your name, address, and phone number, your MAP are consistent. So next up, another way to start up depending on lead maps is to focus on your Google My Business profile. And so as you might imagine, most of the people who are searching for dispensaries in your area are going to go to Google first. And so this means that you should have a Google Business listing, a Google My Business listing, excuse me, and then you should also be active on it and implementing a system to automatically get reviews. And so this one right here is a simple example of what we would do if you were to work with us. We make a simple little landing page like this uh, for anybody who recently buys from you um, and they can get they get prompted to click terrible to great. If they click on terrible, they don't get a chance to leave a review. It simply directs them back to the website. However, if they click on good or great, it redirects them over to the Google business listing. This way we can both protect the business reputation while simultaneously improving your review count. And so as you start to improve your reviews, get more reviews, you'll notice that you'll have better rankings in your area because this is one of the major ranking factors is how many reviews you have on Google. Next up, one of the major strategies that you should be implementing if you want to finally get off of weed maps is a good system for SMS and email marketing. And so as you are probably already aware, there's some pretty strict regulations uh, from SMS providers regarding cannabis content. However, if you navigate this ship very carefully, you'll easily find that you can get these high deliverability rates like this campaign right here, as well as these nice revenue reports where you just get a nice little uptick simply from sending a few messages. Um, in addition to having SMS marketing, uh, one of the things we kind of re recommend is having a weekly email that goes out to your most loyal customers, giving them some special deals, um, directing them over to this promo page that we were just talking about right here. It's a very simple way to continue just to bump up that traffic, keep people coming in the door. 
Next up, finally, uh, for those of you who are the higher rollers in the cannabis industry who are looking for the best way to get the highest uptick in revenue, such as this $85,000 uptick in revenue in just two months, like we were mentioning, um, Parasite SEO is a strategy that you need to implement. And essentially what this means is we are going to post your website on major publications. And so one of the big products in 2024 that a lot of people are buying are cannabis seeds. However, you might also be looking at CBD, Delta 8, and so on. And so these products are typically going to run into very few barriers when you're trying to ship them nationally and even internationally. And so when you combine this idea with the fact that you can publish them on major pu publications and get them ranked relatively easily, um, this is how you can start to generate these results like what we see here with these just insane two months, 85,000. Again, as I was mentioning at the start, if you were to implement this, I can't guarantee that you'll make the $85,000 in two months. However, as you can see here, this is something that we have a lot of experience doing. We know how to do it. And it's a surefire way to get a fast uptick in your revenue if you really need some extra revenue. So here's some examples of some Parasite SEO articles, what this kind of looks like. And so you can see uh, we go to different websites all across the web, the World Wide Web, post our marijuana content on there, uh, put, our, put our name on it and then sell your products directly from these websites. And so if you're interested in learning more about what I do here at Green Dispensary Marketing, here's some of our monthly prices. So at the very basic, our very basic plan, this is 1500 a month. Um, and this is when we'll optimize your online search visibility, um, help you clone your best customers and bring in new ones. Uh, for those of you who want a little bit faster money as well as the longer term money that SEO typically brings, I would highly recommend this SMS and email marketing package on top. And so this is going to be something where we're aggressively going after your, your old customers, the ones that you lost, bring in some new ones, clone them, and keep them coming back, making sure that they don't dip out and go to other dispensaries. Finally, if you want to invest in a Parasite SEO store and promotion, we will build your, your store. We'll get it promoted on major publications. Um, everything that we get up here as well. However, this is the price that we're looking at, our minimum entry level price. If this is something that you're interested in, head over to greendispensarymarketing.com. Get in touch with me. My name is Sam. Looking forward to talking with you. Hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.